Welcome to Relieve Armor Tutorials. Today I'll be showing you how to create a 3D character in Blender. We'll be using basic shapes to create an easy character that can be used for animating. But first, you're going to open up Blender. And once it loads, you can just click anywhere on this else on the screen to get rid of the splash screen. And we're going to stay in layout mode. So I'm going to click here where it says layout, and that's where we'll be creating the character. And now we got this cube. We're going to click it and click X on our keyboard to delete it. We are now going to add a sphere, and you can click Shift A, and then under Mesh, you can cl click Ico Sphere. This is what I'll be using. And if you want to move it, you can click G on your keyboard to move it around. And if you want to move it just straight up, you can click G on a keyboard and that grabs it. And then you can pick either move it on the Z axis, X axis, or Y axis. We're going to click Z on our keyboard to move it up on the Z axis. And then click to accept where you put it. To move around, you can push down on the middle mouse wheel. To pan, you can click shift on your keyboard in the middle mouse wheel. Alright, and now we're going to continue to add on to this character. And now that we have this sphere, you can scale it if you want by clicking S on your keyboard and dragging your mouse out or in. And then clicking to accept. And now I'm going to add some legs by clicking shift A. And under mesh, I'm going to go to cylinder. And I'm going to make this smaller by clicking S on the keyboard to scale it and making it kind of thin. And now we're going to grab it and you can either move it around like this or when you click G, you can also click X to move it just on this X axis. Move it like that. I'm going to duplicate this by clicking Shift D on my keyboard and moving it over. You can again move it over like that, or you can move it just on the x axis. And then once I've moved them to about where I want it, I'm going to move it up by clicking G and Z on my keyboard to move it up on the z axis. I'm going to do that for both of them. And now we're going to go down here and zoom in by scrolling with your middle mouse wheel. And I'm going to, to go into edit mode. You can either click tab on your keyboard or go up here where it says object mode. Click on it and go to edit. And now it's set on vertices. I want to change it from vertices to faces. So when I select, it'll only select a face. So if you go over here to these cubes, it'll see vertices select, edge select, and face select. We're going to enable face select, and then click just on this face, and it should be highlighted. Now I'm going to click on the middle mouse wheel to move it around so I can see it. And now we're going to make it longer by clicking E on the keyboard to extrude. We're going to move it down to about knee level. And again, I'm going to click E on the keyboard and extrude. I'm going to box select it all so I can move it inward. I'm going to click B on the keyboard and drag up. And you almost only selected half of it. So something you can do is enable x ray mode by going up here to these two squares or one dotted line and click x ray. And then when you box select it again, it should select everything on all sides. Now we'll click G to grab it and Z on the z axis. And I want to select x on the x axis. So I'm going to click G. X. 
it'll move it inward a bit. I can also scale this all at once. We'll leave it about here. And then we're going to do the same thing for this section over here. So we're going to get add extra mode. We're going to go over to make sure we're on face select. Middle click on the mouse wheel to scroll down. Select the face. Back into object mode. Select the cylinder. And then we're going to go back to edit mode. And make sure it's on face select. And click on this face. Click E to extrude. Move it down to about how we have the last one. Well, that'd be about knee level. E to extrude again. And we'll have it about like that. Now we're going to go into X-ray mode and click B to box select everything again. F to scale it. G to grab and X on the X axis and move it inward a bit. And now you can see it's still a little bit shorter than the other leg. So we're gonna get out of extra mode. Scroll down, click on this face. And we're going to click G just to make it longer. And then Z to move it straight down. So instead of creating more, we're going to just stretch it. Kind of like this. And now I'm going to extrude it just a tiny bit more. And we're going to create a foot. So I'm going to click it and click G to go down a little bit more. And then you can select just these front faces. We need the box select. Select just the front faces. And then we're going to click E to extrude and Y to move it on the Y axis. And then we're going to create our foot. Now we're going to do the same thing for this cylinder. So you have to go out of edit mode and into object mode. Select this cylinder. Go back into edit mode. Make sure you're on face select. Select the face. E to extrude it downward. Stay straight on. Go to B to box select. Select the front. And then E to extrude on the y-axis. So make sure these feet line up. So we're going to click, click G on our keyboard and Y to on the y-axis. So we can move it back in a little bit until the feet match. So now we have a sphere for the middle, two cylinder legs, and then some feet. And now we're going to create the arms. Now it's best when you're creating this character or any character, if you're going to animate with it, to have it in either a T pose or so all the limbs are stretched out so you can rig it properly. So now we're going to go back into object mode. Click anywhere on the screen to unselect. Click Shift A to add. Go to mesh and select cylinder again. We're going to click S on our keyboard to scale it down about the size of our legs and click G to grab it. And we're going to move it over to about where the arm is going to be. Now we'll click G and then Y on our keyboard so we can move it in about, about to the middle. And now we're going to need to rotate it so it sticks straight out. So we can click R on our keyboard and you can either move it normally or you click R on the keyboard and you can do Y, X, or Z. We're going to just do Y. And rotate it, so it moves straight out. And click G on our keyboard. And we're going to click X to move it on the X axis. Move it inward. 
just like that. We're going to duplicate this by going Shift D, and it's already been selected and grabbed, so you can move it around. Or we're going to just move it over to the next one. So now it's been selected. We're going to click X on our keyboard and move it over, and click to confirm. We're going to have these little pipes coming out. Go back into edit mode. Make sure on face select, like the face. And the same thing with our legs, we're going to extrude by clicking E on a keyboard. And we're extrude on the X axis by clicking X on our keyboard and moving it out. And move to about where our L is going to be. Then clicking E again on the X axis and extruding some more. That's about good. Now we're going to go back into object mode and take this whole cylinder and we're just going to duplicate it, going Shift D. And now we're in object mode, we're going to click on the other arm, select it, and we're actually going to delete this, going X and delete. We're now going to select the finished arm and continue to build just on one side. Go back into edit mode. And we're not actually going to add a hand. Instead, we're just going to add around sphere through its hand. We'll click Shift A to add, go to Echo Sphere, and select. We're going to grab this by clicking G on our keyboard and move on the x axis to move it over. And then click G again on the z, on z axis by clicking Z on our keyboard and bring it up. We're now going to scale this down by clicking S on our keyboard. And moving our mouse in, click G on our keyboard to move it, and click X to move it back in to where our hand's going to be. And that's all we're going to do for his hand. You go to edit mode, click where it says edit mode, and go to object mode. And now it's, if it doesn't select it, you know, click on the arm, and click Shift D to duplicate, and X to move it along the X axis. When it's got here, we're going to click R on our keyboard, and then click Y to move it on the Y axis. And we're going to rotate it. And now his arm is not quite out far enough. So we're going to click G to grab, and X to move on the X axis. About there. So here is our character so far. Now we're going to add a head, or a neck first. So we're going to add neck, click Shift A to add, go to Mesh, and select Cylinder. Grab it by clicking the Gina keyboard and Z to move it on the Z axis, straight up. Now I'll click S to scale it, we're going to shrink it down. Then click G, and then Z on the keyboard, move it straight down on the Z axis. Once you have it in, you can either make this longer by extruding, or you can just uh, shrink it by grabbing the face. I'm just going to leave it how it is now. And now we're going to create the head. We click Shift A to add, go to Mesh, and click on I, I Go Sphere. And then click G to grab, Z on the Z axis, and bring it straight up. We're going to have a little head kind of like this. Click G to grab it, and Z on the Z axis, and remove it. Down just a little bit. And then click on to the object mode and select edit mode. And now we're going to select a couple of these faces. So we're going to click one and then select more than one. If you try to click on the other one, it won't select it. So you have to click shift and hold on shift and click onto a different one as well. And you go through and then select all these. Now we'll click G on our keyboard, and now we we'll move it up by clicking Z on our Z axis, and it should move in on itself. Now if we back to object mode, you can grab it on the Z axis, lower it back down to kind of shape the head how you want. Now I'm going to create a little chin, and go to where it says object mode, select edit mode. And about where you think there should be a chin, select 
do the faces by clicking it and then shift clicking on then more than one if you need to. I'm going to click G and move on the X axis to pull it out. And then G on the Z, Z axis to move it back down. Now move it out in the side a little bit. So I click G and then Y to move it in a bit. So I have a slight chin. So if you click in object mode, then you can see how it's going to look. Now we're going to give this character a hat. So we're going to click Shift A to add. Go where it says mesh. And we're going to select cylinder. G to grab, Z on the Z axis, and bring it up. We're actually going to leave it like this. But but now we're going to edit it a little bit. So we click object mode, go to edit, select the face, and go to the front view, click G to grab it, and Z to move down or up. I'll move it down a little bit. Get out of here. Now we're going to add the front of his cap and we're going to, by creating a cut. So we're going to go into object mode. Oh, we got to stay back in edit mode. And we're going to click Control R to create a loop cut, cut. And click left click on your mouse to accept. And now you got to bring it back up and down wherever you want. We're going to make a nice thin one. And now we're going to go on to the top of it. Make sure extra mode is enabled. And we're going to click B to box select. And we're going to select the top. Now it selected everything, but we don't want that. So we're going to click Shift and click on the ones we don't want. Now we're going to click on the ones you want to select. Make sure you're in face select mode. Select the faces you think you want to extrude. Click on Shift. So you can continue clicking on the rest. And click E on the your keyboard to extrude. And then Y, so you can extrude on the Y axis. So we give it a little hat like this. We're going to get out of extra mode. Click on the top of his hat and make it a little bit smaller. So click G to grab, Z on the, X, on the Z axis, and lower it down. Now we're going to object mode. If you want, you can click G on the keyboard and Z to move it back down a little bit so it sits more on his head. And that is how we're going to create our basic character for animating in Blender. If you enjoyed the video or learned something, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.